A team led by the Inspector General of Police, Major General Kare Kaihura, will head to South Sudan in the second week of this month. They will meet government officials to see how best to resolve the disputes between Ugandan traders in South Sudan and the indigenous people. We have set up a committee, a joint committee, police, Kasita, the, the consulate. Kasita is going to put down all the document, all the complaints in detail. And they are so that you can appreciate their, their nature. I'm going to the delegation to meet my counterpart because a lot of these, like for example, vehicles which are which are impounded at, 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 at police stations, we must get them released. This was part of the resolutions of a meeting chaired by Jeno Kaihura involving officials from South Sudan Consulate in Uganda and the agri traders. The traders withdrew their threat to close the Uganda Sudan border. I call upon the nation Uganda to hold until that meeting will come back from Juba. The number of Ugandans who died in the Thursday shootout has now been placed at two, not eight as the traders claimed yesterday. The motion we have is that the, the, the shooting incident which was referred to yesterday, where two Ugandans died, uh, was an incident, a case of, of a soldier who had either run a mock and then started shooting from the barracks. It is true. Ugandans have died, even if the number doesn't come to eight, but we are just on rumors. Jeno Kaihura urged the Sudanese working here and Ugandans working in South Sudan not to worry of possible attacks due to the standoff. Issues concerning the impounded trucks belonging to Ugandans and claims of Ugandans going unpaid after rendering services to the South Sudan government were forwarded to the South Sudan consulate here for resolution. Tony Mwangala, NTV Tonight.